Welcome to Farm with Fred. Subscribe to this channel so that you can get many and more updates about farming, new skills, and uh, how to take care of your crop. Invite farmers, invite friends, share the link so that we can increase this class and you can be a bigger uh, learning community. Um, when a crop is growing, different crops uh there is a target uh, product that we use from the mother they are they are like vegetables they are vegetable leaves they are interested in leaves they are fruit vegetables like capsicum our main interest is uh is fruit in tomatoes uh we, we are in need of fruits as you can see from the lower side you have harvested as many fruit as possible so every time you harvest fruits uh from this uh crop you, are, you, you prune leaves, as you can see from the lower side. We've removed uh, so many suckers, you've removed uh, so many uh, leaves, plus the fruit. That shows you that uh, due to growth, we are getting, the, the soil is getting exhausted. We are removing much of the nutrient from the soil that uh, we applied uh, in our, when we are starting. And now we need to continue supplementing or we need to continue adding uh, more product to the soil in order to avoid some of the things that may, may, may occur as far as growth is concerned. And during a uh, growth journey, there is a, a, a condition that usually attacks these uh, fruits and it attacks both uh, capsicum and tomatoes and we call it brosome head rot. Brosomed rot is a very dangerous uh, condition. And uh, there are two things that causes brosomed rot. One is inconsistent, inconsistent in watering. Second is uh, calcium deficiency. So those are the two things that affect, uh, uh, that causes brosomed rot. How now do you identify blossomed rot? Because blossomed rot, like uh, other conditions or diseases, you may uh, be you you may uh, confuse it with other diseases, like in tomatoes, they are fruit blight, and uh, that uh, have a similar look or the similar characteristics as blossomed. So, if you want to uh, identify blossomed rot, as the name suggests, it's the blossom, the lower part. As you can see in this fruit see this fruit it's affecting the lower part these are now to identify the the blossom head rot or the fruits that are molding it's affecting the lower part now these are uh, like i told you this uh, lack of calcium maybe it's a uh, calcium it's calcium deficiency that is affecting these or if you have enough calcium for the for the for the for, for the plant it's inconsistency in watering so uh during growth or at a certain uh, uh, period during growth you are going to encounter this because when the crop was growing we have harvested a lot of fruits and when we remove them they come out with, uh, with, uh, with, with some nutrient like calcium so the soil is getting exhausted so you need to always to be uh, to, to be on time and you need to be proactive as far as nutrient application is concerned don't forget to apply your your, uh, your your nutrient on time. I usually advise farmers to do it after every uh, two weeks in order now not to experience such condition. Also, watering, make sure you give enough water at the right time and at the right stage. And with that, you'll be able to curb this, this condition because there is no buyer that will buy a, a fruit with the brosome drought. They are not bad, but you know the market, the market demand is until next time, subscribe to this channel, share the link with other farmers to join us so that we can continue getting the skills and learning together. Bye.